Hi guys, my name is Sanjay Gupta. I'm a cardiologist in York. As you know, I have an interest in a condition called POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Uh, over the course of the last couple of years, I've acquired a large number of patients who I look after with this condition. POTS uh, is a condition which is characterized by uh, an excessively high heart rate when uh, patients are standing. And this is how it's recognized by a lot of clinicians. However, patients who have POTS have a lot of other symptoms which are not necessarily only noticeable when they're standing. They're there all the time. And perhaps two of the most debilitating symptoms for patients with POTS are brain fog, which is characterized as a inability to... Um, they cannot, they find it difficult to concentrate, they find it difficult to focus on things, they find it difficult to process tasks in their brain. So this is brain fog. And the other is extreme fatigue, extreme fatigue. And so a lot of the research around POTS and a lot of medications we have available for uh, POTS are largely around trying to slow the heart rate, stop the heart rate from going very fast. But the thing that most of my patients come and complain of, even though they, I can slow their heart down when they stand up, so they feel a little bit more settled when they're standing up, is this idea of this very, very troublesome, debilitating brain fog, which can come on at any time. It can be unpredictable. It can go on for ages. And that can really have an impact on their lives, on their working life, for students in their exams, and this ex extreme fatigue. So by far, in a way, the universal question I get asked by my patients is, what can be done about the brain fog? What can be done about the fatigue? And I was recently at a big meeting with a lot of other people who are experts in this condition, and I raised the question. I said, well, what, what can be done? And by far and away, the common answer was, well, if they can get their POTS better in some way, then their brain fog and their fatigue should get better. However, that's a difficult thing. You know, trying to recover from POTS it can be prolonged. And in my experience, the fatigue and the brain fog doesn't always just get better with just general management for POTS. So what else is out there? Another thing that can help is intravenous saline. Okay, intravenous saline certainly seems to work in taking away fatigue. It certainly seems to work in take improving brain fog. And a lot of patients who've been fortunate enough to receive intravenous saline because they've come into a hospital, etc., will say it feels almost like a cloud has been lifted off. You know, everything becomes a lot clearer. The problems are twofold. One, this only lasts about a day or so, and then everything gets back bad. And the second thing is that obviously intravenous saline, you know, you cannot just give people intravenous saline long term. You can, but there's no real kind of mechanism in most places now to give patients intravenous saline long term. And it's not really a practical solution for patients to be strapped to an intravenous saline uh, bag all you know for the rest of their lives so intravenous saline does help when things get really really bad but it is not a effective long-term solution so what else is out there this is where this new agent that i wanted to talk about comes in because i suspect this may help patients the problem is that It'll take a while before large evidence accrues for its benefit, but based around the small bits of evidence, it does look really promising. So this is where this new agent comes in. It's called modafinil. Modafinil is an FDA-approved medication which is used uh, for excessive daytime sleepiness in patients with obstructive sleep apnea. It has also been used um, in patients with narcolepsy to improve cognitive function and mood problems. In addition, there is some evidence that it can reduce depression and anxiety and irritability in patients with sleep apnea. And it does so by increasing the amount of serotonin in the brain and also glutamate in the brain. The really interesting thing is in 2014, a group of researchers decided to use uh, modafinil in patients with POTS. And their question really was, does the modafinil make the POTS symptoms worse? Does it, because it's a stimulant, does it increase the heart rate in patients with POTS and thereby making them worse? And the most interesting thing here was that it was found not to make the POTS worse. So here is an agent 
which doesn't hemodynamically make symptoms of POTS worse. The next question then is to try and work out does it actually improve brain fog and cognitive function and fatigue. And there's a very distinguished researcher called Blair Grubb. He is based in Toledo. He's probably one of the leading lights in POTS. So if you're in America and you want to see a specialist, Blair Grubb is a real leading light in this. And he published a paper, this was published in the American Journal of Therapeutics. It was published in 2010. The lead author is a guy called Kanjwal, K-A-N-J-W-A-L. And what he found was that when he gave 60 patients with POTS this modafinil, uh, there was an improvement in fatigue with modafinil at a dose of 100 to 200 milligrams daily in 40 of those people. In 36 of these, 36 out of 40 of these people, the improvement was maintained beyond six months. Okay, so it seems that this medication certainly keeps the fatigue and the brain fog at bay in the long term. For patients, it came back after a few months, but in the majority, 36 out of the 40 people who had improved, uh, it remained, um, the improvement remained persistent beyond six months. Now there's a really interesting study being done in the University of Calgary where they're going to see whether modafinil, whether they can reproduce the benefits of modafinil in terms of brain fog and fatigue. And that would be a really interesting study that we're waiting to see what it shows. But I think they may still be recruiting for it. So if you're ever, if you're in that area and you want to participate, this is a great study to participate in. But in the meanwhile, whilst we're waiting for these data to become available, I see no harm in speaking to your POT specialist and saying, could I try modafinil? Maybe it'll work for you. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. If you have tried modafinil, uh, please do leave me a comment, tell me how you felt on it. Maybe this medication uh, offers hope for the future. All the best.